Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Well, let's start with our pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now our pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you, and you may be seated. Welcome to Newsday with Dr. J. We hope that your four-day weekend was restful and relaxing and that you are ready to make this big push to spring break. Now, don't forget, your grades are very important. This will be the end of the third nine weeks. And at this point, seniors, everything sets. So please make this final push really positive to get to the end of the year. So up next, we have our word of the day endow to equip or bestow uh, usually a quality or ability the sample sentence is according to the myth the gods endowed him with the gift of healing and then our quote of the day oh that's too bad you can't see it it's really good all right listen carefully some people look for a beautiful place others make a place beautiful don't forget, Equipando Padres is coming up. It will be this Saturday, February 25th from 9 to 1. If you are a junior or senior, really all levels, that you want to major in a STEM career in college, this is for you and your parents. This organization called a SHIP, they work very hard to make sure that all future STEM careers are taken care of and that you guys know exactly what you're, you're doing, and they offer tons of help. Uh, for your parents. So it's a free half day workshop workshop for your parents called Equipando Padres. Please, if you want to be in a STEM career in college, please bring your parents. We'll have lots and lots of really great um, offerings for you and your family. And then don't forget the Wizards are this Saturday night. We're super excited. We host it right here. You've seen our commercials and you saw our news last Thursday with Tish the Wizard on the news. Well, today, showing their Trojan pride in all five pillars of our amazing school, uh, we have our National Merit finalists. And I need you to know we have four and three are here to be on the news. So let's bring over our National Merit finalists. I'm saying it really slow because it's a really big darn deal. So we have uh, Maddie, Sankarshan, and Drew. So come on over. So guys, tell us a little bit about your journey to National Merit Finalist, which is the is one step ahead of semifinalist. Uh, so my journey began freshman year. Um, I just remember being in my AP Human Geography class and Mr. Parks um, introduced the whole National Merit thing to us. He really pushed us to, uh, first of all, get our ranks up and stay up with our grades, but then he introduced the concept of the PSAT to us. and from then on, it was just a really big goal of mine um, to do my best on that exam. I saw all the upperclassmen above me, um, you know, achieving semifinalists and some of them finalists standing. And it was just always something that I really wanted to do. So I set out from freshman year. I did Khan Academy. I worked really hard. And then at the beginning of junior year, I really did the final push and I took the exam and I did really well. Uh, for me, it was probably my sister. So, like five years ago, she was also a national merit semi or a finalist at Turner, and she went to college free of free of cost. So I wanted to do something like that because I knew how much it could save me and my family. So I just worked on that and I studied and I took the exam junior year. Yeah, um, well, I didn't really have like a role model or anything. I just kind of knew it was an important test. Um, I showed up for it, took it, and it went well. And I'm just grateful that I finalized. So that's really all. This is really awesome, and I just want you to know our school is really proud of you. We've changed your banner this from semifinalist to finalist uh, that will hang in our hallways for years to come because this is a true honor for our school. Um, you have all selected, uh, one of my alma maters, we just talked about this, but you've all selected Texas A&M, whoop, um, 
And so tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so I'm going to be attending A&M in the fall uh, with a kinesiology major and a dance science focus. Um, I'm hoping to someday uh, become a physical therapist, kind of study the psychology behind dance. Yeah, I'm uh, planning to attend A&M with an engineering degree. First year is general engineering, and then after that you can specify and choose something like that. And yeah, they offer a great scholarship for national merit semifinalists and finalists, so I'm excited to go there next year. Yeah, I'm also doing engineering with Drew. Um, yeah, it's like a, the finalist gives us a really good deal. Like, you get a half ride and automatic honors at like a top 18, top 20 college, so yeah. Any advice to scholars that about about choosing a college or about working hard on this test to become a national merit semifinalist? Like, just any advice because it's a lot of work, and I know you're saying it's worth it. But what advice would you give? Would you give the underclassmen? You guys have no idea how much your hard work is going to pay off. I didn't start realizing the benefits until this year. Um, I it was really hard to kind of see past all of the hard stuff, um, especially junior year with all those hard classes, but. Once you start seeing things pay off, all of your hard work, all of your studying, every scholarship that you apply for becomes worth it because you realize that you have paved the way for yourself to start a life, you know, hopefully free of debt. Like, that is such a big deal. And so I just want to encourage y'all that, like, every opportunity you have, like, please just go after it because it's so worth it in the end. Yeah, you don't realize in the moment, like, you're going to be sitting there, you know, trying to prep for this test, like, months early in advance and it's gonna be like why am I here why am I doing this but I promise you it's a really good deal you can get full rides to a lot of colleges as well yeah debt free is definitely something you want to go for so and I see you I see you rolling your eyes when you're asked to do 30 minutes of Khan Academy by your parents I see you you need to do that 30 minutes and not question it all right well let's close out we love you we think you're great remember character counts and make it a great day or not the choice is yours